Forever in the building. Visa, visa. God bless Nigeria. God bless Nigeria. Nigeria. God bless Nigeria. Apparently, Paul Portable, the popular musician, met with Peter Obi recently. And after the encounter with Mr. Peter Obi, as usual, we all know that Portable, he doesn't, he doesn't hide his mouth. He says whatever he feels, you know, what he's thinking. He would, of course, come to social media to give his social media fans and supporters feedback. So after he met with Peter Obi, he came online to say that he didn't give us anything. And that statement triggered a lot of topics in my head. And I was like, I must talk about this. I must talk about this because this is the mentality for a lot of Nigerians. This is the reality in Nigerians, right? In Nigeria right now, pardon me. This is just the reality. People meet with politicians and they expect that these politicians should be throwing money here and there. We always talk about corruption. We always talk about, you know, all of these societal heels. But sometimes we also need to talk talk about this, you know, talk about people, the expectance, expectance of people from these politicians. That is why, you know, a senator will collect 21 million naira and will say it's still not enough because he, there are some people he has to give money. People are expecting to collect school fees from him. People are expecting, people will come to his gates to knock on his door very early morning, you know, to beg for money. That is why these people are also stealing money. We need to take accountability. Nigerians, we all, we that we are always, you know, are complaining about uh, the corrupt politicians. We also have a role to play in this. We also have the part that we take. Not that I have gone to any politician to ask for money or God forbid bad thing. But I'm just saying we because this is the reality for most people living in Nigeria. Because of poverty, you know, things are hard. We know that. But people expect that this politician should be buje budano. Chop your own and give to others and throw away money. But when they see somebody that is not throwing away money, not spending as they think he should, then they will tag that person as a bad person. Even though the person is doing his job, he's paying salaries, you know, the person is building roads and all of that, they will tag the person stinging because I've come across something like that before where a governor of a, of a state, you know, somebody was saying that, oh, him and his wife, they are very stingy. And I was like, doesn't he pay salary? Doesn't he do the things that he needs to do in the, in the in the state? But because they don't throw away money, you don't come to their house and they will envelope like 600,000, bam, and give it to you. People do not want to know where the money is coming from. People do not want to know how they got this money. All they want is the money. All they want is the money. And later, when this person does not build roads, does not build hospitals, does not pay salaries. It's these same people that will come out and say that, oh, he's, do, he's not doing this, he's not doing that, he's corrupt. Whereas you took out of a corrupt money, you took out of a stolen money. The stolen money, one way or the other, got to you indirectly. And now you're complaining. You're complaining about bad leaders, you're complaining about bad governments. So these are the things. But before I go on, let's just, you know, look at the news for today let's take a look at the details by the way if you haven't subscribed to this channel please go ahead and subscribe like this video leave your opinions in the comment section nigerian singer abib okikiola popularly known as portable has expressed his disappointment after a recent encounter with peter obi the 2023 presidential candidate for the labor party and former governor of anambra state the controversial artist crossed paths with Obi in Benin City, Edo State, where the two exchange pleasantries. A video from the encounter, which has since gone viral, shows Portable lamenting over the fact that Obi did not offer him any money during their interaction. Speaking in his usual blunt manner, Portable compared Obi to President Bola Tinubu, 
claiming that the current president would have given him something if they had met. In the clip, Potable stated, Obi cannot give us anything. Obi didn't give us anything. If it was Tinubu we met, he would have given us something. Let's go. So we, you know, recently it, it trended how a lot of Nigerians were asking for the amount of money made by these senators and, you know, everything. And then later we discover that they make 21 million Naira per month. And then look, seeing here that Portable is complaining, if it were to be Tinubu, he will give us money. Do you know how much the president collects in a month? If he gives you, like, let's say, 10 million naira, do you know if actually the money is coming from his salary or is something that he, on a normal day you should be able to afford? People do not want to know. People do not want to know if the money is stolen or if it's money from the national accounts or for they do not want to know. All they want is, you know, give me money. You're a politician. At least you're stealing money. Give me my share. That is the orientation. That is just the mentality. Look at what he said. If he said if it if it was President Bola Tinubu, you know. On the other hand, Potebu is not me, Peter Obi is not an elected president. Is even if he's an elected president, he, he does not owe anybody anything. Apart from doing his job as the president, apart from doing his job as a public office holder, like building roads and all of that, you 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 these politicians do not owe us anything like giving money sharing more money out apart from actually doing what they are in the office for and you are expecting or just because the person is a politician you believe that the person should have surplus the person should give you money when you meet them at the beer parlor they need to buy free drinks for everybody that is that is the even the reason this pressure that Nigerians are asserting on these politicians is one of the reasons why these politicians steal money. Because the, the expectations from people in their community, the expectations from Nigerians is that if I meet a politician, oh, he should be able to envelope something from for me. A lot of people do not want to know where the money is coming from. Even if Tinobu is stealing the money that he will give to you, Portable does not want to know as far as he's getting that money. That is just the difference. I don't understand. We need to just reorientate ourselves. We need to we need to sit down and think and think. Because most of these people condemning these politicians, when they get there, they will do worse. That's just the ugly truth. When they get there, they will do worse. Because in your place of work, how do you behave there? Do you get to work early? And on the day and on the days where you get to work late, do you actually write the time that you 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 go to office? Or you just you you write 7 30, whereas you are getting to the office nine o'clock. You are part of the problem we have in this country. There are so many ways, or you are you 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 are a civil servant, people come to your office and they will not meet you, or people come to your office. For, for a service that you are being paid by the government to render, but yet you still expect that person to pay you extra to actually do the job that you're employed for. We are all in this together. You know, most of us, it's very easy to put the blame on politicians, but the realistic thing, the reality is that it's not just the politicians, it's all of us. Let's change. Let's behave ourselves. Let's behave accordingly. We want this country to grow. Thank you very much, you all, for always listening and watching. If this is your first time here, please subscribe, like this video. I will see you all in my next video. Bye for now.